Welcome traders to another Tickmill Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 30th of May with me, Patrick Munley. Holiday shortened week with the US out of action today for Memorial Day celebrations. Uh, markets have closed in the US. So uh, data looking to Tuesday, we will get the March FHFA house prices. We give a 2% print there. Strong demand and limited supply are supportive, but that March kickoff for rates to really slow price growth for the remainder of 2022. We'll also get May Chicago PMI looking for a 54.5 print there. May consumer confidence looking for a 103.9 versus a 107.3 print last time out. Inflation worries are starting to offset the strength um, in the labor market. Heading into Wednesday, we will get the manufacturing PMIs looking for a 57.5 print there. Final estimate for the month. We will also see April construction spending looking for a 0.7% print. May ISM manufacturing looking for 55 print there versus a 55.4 print last time out. Robust momentum still evident in manufacturing in, uh, in the US. April jolts job openings uh, pointing to extraordinary demand for workers. And then heading into Thursday, we have May ADP employment change. 295k expected there, jobs growth holding at robust levels. We will also get April factory orders, looking for a 0.7% print there, capital investment to lift over this year as inventories return to pre-pandemic levels. Uh, we'll get also get durable goods, looking for a 0.4% print. And then heading into Friday, the main event of the week, the non-farm payrolls, looking for three to nine, uh, 329,000 there, um, unemployment rates of 3.5% and hourly earnings of 0.4%. Employment gains sustaining a healthy pace, pushing the employment rate lower and supporting robust wages growth. And then we'll round out the week with the May ISM non-manufacturing, looking for a 56.9 versus a 57.1 last time out, services sector does remain in robust health. Moving to the charts and the technical setup for the dollar this week, I'm looking for a wave four low to develop. I'm using a symmetry swing measurement there, and ideally we'd like to see uh, test into this 101 handle. Watch for bullish reversal patterns there to engage on the long side. Looking for a fifth wave extension with a minimum upside objective of 106.16, and really it would take a loss of the uh, 101 handle to suggest a more meaningful high in place for the dollar. Uh, and then we would target and move back down into the trend channel support, uh, somewhere just below the 98 handle. Moving to the Eurozone, and uh, we get May CPI, uh, the year, year over year print there, looking for 7.5% print price pressures, look to be broadening across the Eurozone economy. Heading into Wednesday, we get May S&P Global Manufacturing PMIs, final estimate for the month, 54.4, uh, scheduled to deliver there. And the April unemployment rate, 6.8% last time out. Tight labour market really is starting to lay the foundation for wages growth within the Eurozone. And then we round out the week on Friday with uh, services PMI, final estimate for the month, looking for a 56.3% print there. And we'll also get April retail sales. Consumer rebound is likely to be limited, uh, driven by the inflation concerns and the conflict in uh, the Ukraine. Heading onto the charts here and looking at the technical setup, I'm looking for the euro to test trend channel resistance here, just above the 108 handle. Watch for bearish reverse patterns there to engage on the short side, initially targeting a move into the 10470s. And if we don't find support there, then we can think about a retest of the price cycle lows at 103.40s. However, if buyers do show up in this area, I'd be anticipating a three-wave corrective move to challenge the 109 handle as the next upside objective. Heading into the UK, uh, Tuesday we will get April net mortgage lending. Uh, softer lending really now to start to uh, be seen in the UK as the rate hikes start to take effect. Then heading into Wednesday, we'll get the uh, final estimates for the month. Manufacturing PMI looking for a 54.6% print there. Um, and that rounds out the data in the UK this week. The technical setup is, uh, is interesting here. We're looking for a test now of trend channel resistance and the pivot at just above the 127 handle, 127.10, 127.20. Watch for bearish reversal patterns there to engage on the short side, initially looking for a move back down into the 124 handle. 
Heading to Japan on Tuesday, we will get April industrial production looking for a negative 0.2% print there versus a positive 0.3% print last time out as supply issues are really an ongoing struggle. And then heading into Wednesday, we get Nikkei manufacturing PMIs, final estimate for the month, looking for a 53.2 print there. And then rounding the week out in Japan, uh, Nikkei services PMI, final estimate delivered on Friday, looking for a 51.7 there. From a technical perspective, the dollar yen is testing this equality objective versus the swing high at 12960s and we were looking for a 12616 print there uh, we're stalling just ahead of that so for me now any move back through the pivot at 12770s i'll be looking to engage on the long side looking for a minimum upside objective fifth wave extension here into the 133 handle at this stage it will really take a loss of 12380s to suggest again that we have a more meaningful high in place and then we can start to think about a deeper corrective move, certainly 120.40s uh, would be the next downside objective. And rounding out the week down under in Australia, Tuesday, April dwelling approvals, looking for a 0.5% print there. Muted bounce really from the steep high rise led drop in, uh, in March that we saw. We also get Q1 company Profits looking for a 4.5% print there. Q1 business inventories, 0.7% print anticipated, rising at a slower rate really with mixed conditions due to supply chain disruptions. And then heading into Wednesday, we get CoreLogic Home Value Index looking for a negative 0.3% print there. Price corrections look to have started really in the, uh, in the housing index there in May. And then on Thursday, we get April trade balance, looking for a 9.3 billion print there. Exports and imports, both expected to make modest gains. Rounding out the week on Friday, we get April housing finances, uh, looking for a negative 1% print there. Uh, drop in turnover already down, uh, house financing by 15% in value terms. And that's likely to slow through into the finance approvals in coming months. Uh, falls likely to be more pronounced for owner-occupier properties. Uh, from a technical perspective, the Aussie dollar has broken out of its trend channel resistance. And so I'm looking now for a test of the pivot here and this high volume node at 7270s. Anticipating there, we should see some profit taking at least and a corrective pullback to retest the just below the 70 cents level as potential support then for a three-way corrective move, which could see us testing up into the 74 handle. At this stage, it would take a loss of the 70 cents level to suggest a false break and a move back down to retest the prior cycle lows at the 68.20s. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 30th of May. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage all risk. Until next time, thanks very much.